Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. It's time to start the basement for realsies now, you know, not running through here just to get a metal cap. I mean actually starting the worlds in this place because the next world is down here. I'm not gonna go through that star door just yet, I'll save that for later to build the suspense. Anyway, let's go in here and this time turn left, you'll find a toad in the corner which has some stuff to say. Wow, you've already recovered that many stars? Way to go, Mario! I'll bet you'll have us out of here in no time! Be careful, though. Bowser and his brand... B brand? Band <laughs> wrote the book on bad. Take my advice. When you need to recover from injuries, collect coins. Yellow coins are filled one piece of the power meter, red coins are filled two pieces, and blue coins are filled five. To make blue coins appear, pound on the blue coin box. Also, if you fall from high places, you'll minimize damage if you pound the ground as you land. Um, didn't I, like, learn all this stuff by example? Like, through, through the entire game? Well, anyway, if you look around this corner, you may have seen a bunny before, and its name is Nips. We've gotta catch it. Oh, it only, it only appears after you've collected 20 stars, but we've gotta catch it. Press the B button to grab things. Ready? Let's get it! <laughs> Come back here, you rascally wabbit! <laughs> this rabbit can be a little bit tricky to catch. Oh my god, I got it! So late, I must make haste. This shiny thing mine, it's mine. Finders, keepers, losers. Late, late, late. Ouch, take it then. A gift from Bowser. It wasn't let me be. I have a date. I can't be late for tea. Yeah, it's a reference. <laughs> and there is one of the castle's secret stars. Here we go. So, yeah, after collecting that one, um, besides Nips appearing here after 20 stars, you'll also find Nips again in the basement here, that you, and you'll have to re-catch it after um, 50 stars, so yeah, don't forget to come back down here and catch it later. Uh, Nips apparently was a very, uh, was a favorite character by the uh, developers at Nintendo. They used to use it in a lot of uh, like beta testing stuff, and I guess they liked the character so much that they apparently decided to put it in Super Mario 64 just because they wanted to show it, and wait a second. Uh, I, I thought that was an, um, I didn't, I, I thought that was an emulation glitch or something like that, never mind. And that's just, uh, differing floors. Over here is another toad, and he gives you another castle secret star. Hold on to your hat! If you lose it, you'll be injured easily. If you don't lose your cap, you'll have to find it in the course where you lost it. Oh boy, it's not looking good for Peach. She's still trapped somewhere inside the walls. Please, Mario. You have to help her! Did you know that there are enemy worlds inside the walls? Yup, it's true. Bowser's troops are there too. Oh, here, take this. I've been keeping it for you. And there's another castle secret star. One of the easiest to get in the game for obvious reasons. All you have to do is find Toad. Woo! And do you have anything else to say, Toad? I'm kind of curious about that. Come on, I know I can talk to toads I've talked to before, but I have to go far enough away to make you... Oh, there we go. Just gotta make sure he's not invisible. Um... Okay, he says the same thing, aside from cutting out the last part. Anyway, next world is the Hazy Maze Cave inside the Mercury Pool, and Swimming Beast in the Cavern. Now I can give you an introduction to this place for realsies. Uh, these I didn't... I mean, I forgot to introduce in another world. They're Scuttlebugs. Uh, they, they're, they're a lot like Goombas, except they're a little bit more mobile. But otherwise, yeah, they react and are and they are killed just like Goombas, so yeah. Um, over here is a map of the place. Yeah, they actually have a map here. I think they did that more to intimidate you than anything, because this... It's not really that complicated of a place, in all honesty. Let's see this sign here. Both ways, fraught with danger. Watch your feet. Those who can't do the long jump... Tisk tisk. <laughs> Make your way to the right. Right, work elevator. Cloudy maze. Left black hole and underground lake. Red circle elevator two underground lake. Arrow, you are here. So yeah, those signs describe what's going on on the map here. So uh, since we are doing 
swimming beast in the cavern we want to go to the underground lake and this is going to teach you about the long jump isn't it and no it's just a copy paste oh yeah it is, it is a copy paste of uh, the signboard text that teaches you about the long jump so remember run press the Z button to slide and then hit the jump button it's very easy to do it's very handy to do as well so this is apparently the black hole always remember down is death whenever there's a low path you're probably better off taking the high path because dangers await you oh and there's swoopers in this cavern as well hello there hey you just jump on them like bats or punch them I mean jump on them like you would do in bats in other Mario games uh, this, this isn't the path that I want to take but uh, I'm just reading the signs as I go so that you can see what they say these boulders I swear it, it they they don't directly aim for you, but it, it just feels like oh shoot 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 shoot! I totally fail at that jump. <laughs> Those boulders, it feels. I mean, they don't directly aim for you, but it always seems like that they are that they're out to get you. Like whichever way you turn, that's where they go. But they don't actually aim for you in the programming, to my knowledge. All right, let's just run back to to that spot. It's really easy to get back there. It just because I, it only took me that long up to this point because I was uh, uh, dilly-dallying along the way. So here we are already. <laughs> oh jeez, I almost killed myself again. So yeah, let's watch the boulders. See, they don't see they're not aiming for me, but sometimes it just feels like that they like they are. I, <laughs> it's just so weird how they work out. Um, over here is one up and a bunch of coins. There's the. Uh, map, I'll chat with the sign here. Well, not chat with it, I'll read the sign. Mm, yeah, that, that area is closed, but it's actually, um, there's actually a way to get to that a little bit later that involves the uh, metal cap. So, yeah, I'll be getting that shortly. But for now, let's go down here. Oh, wait, I should actually show something here. You don't actually get squished by the elevator, you go right through it. <laughs> <laughs> so that's, it's kind of weird how that works. Uh, there's a metal cap up here if you want it, but you aren't going to need it for the star and it would probably probably actually uh, be intrusive to you. Anyway, I also didn't introduce our dino buddy here when I was down here the first time. This is Dory, and uh, I did show how it worked before, but I'll re-explain it. Uh, Dory goes wherever you are facing, so you want Dory to go over to the middle platform, Get it pointed there, ground pound, make it lower, make it lower its head, and there you go. There's your star. That's all there is to Dory, basically. It's just there to be a happy, friendly guy. All right, next star. Let's see what's up. It is elevate for eight red coins. So I guess I'll be taking the right path this time. Just to show this place off, and look out for scuttlebugs flying out of the holes. Uh, there's some flame jets to prevent you from uh, doing long jumps. Well, sort of, unless you time your time yourself, because they're like timed for when you approach the area. Work elevator. For those who get off here, grab the pole to the left and slide carefully down. Okie dokie. Uh, this area right here is... Uh, it's like a red coin course of sorts, and that's what I'm going to be doing here. There's two layers of red coin collecting that we're going to have to do. And uh, what, what if I go up instead, just being a rebel? Oh, can't. And what is this pole attached to? It's floating in midair. Uh, we're not going down that way right now, but I will check the sign for fun. Mm, yeah, they, the, the designers really thought this place was complicated. <laughs> But, I mean, there's there's only two paths at the start, and this one leads exactly where you need to go, you know, I mean, it's it's kind of obvious based on the, um, the names of the levels themselves, so to speak. Anyway, you want to go up over here, work elevator, danger, read instructions thoroughly. Elevator continues in the direction of the arrow activated. That was very complicated directions, I would have never figured that out on my own. <laughs> so here we have a very rather large dance dance revolution dance pad or in the groove whatever is your fancy and you press a button you move in that direction and it keeps going on its own until it hits something and then it just reverses direction all right so what you want to do is guide it over to where the red coins are obviously 
So I'm going to break some stuff along the way. I'm not sure if there's it's probably coins and blocks. Yeah, wasn't really sure about that. Now that Mr. Eye there could be a problem in some circumstances. So you might want to be careful of that. Uh, also be careful of these things you gotta jump over because they are quite in your way. There's three. I think there's four on each layer. Like this is the, the fourth layer. I mean the first layer, excuse me. And then um, there's a another place that I'm leading up to right now. See that pole off to the left that I was blocked to with the uh, um, fencing? Yeah, that's what I'm going to now. Um, if you if you uh, ever stay off this platform for too long, what'll happen is that it'll disappear and reset back where it started from. So that's not really something that you want to do. <laughs> Especially since it takes quite a while to get here. Yeah. Hop off here. And now we got another platforming segment starting now. It's, it's a little bit trickier though, but try and get your camera in a way that's favorable for you. I don't know if there, maybe there's something in the box. Could be something in the box. No, there's nothing on, in the box. So it's following these track, this track of balls here, and. So you, you kind of have an idea of where it's going, but it's uh, it, it kind of turns on its own whenever it wants to, so be careful of that. I mean, I, I mean it doesn't turn when it wants to, it turns how it's programmed to do, but I mean... Oh, shoot! <laughs> what I mean is that it might be um, tricky to predict that, so don't jump too much, so to speak. And here are the last two coins. So it's not a hard star to get, though it's just a little, little bit time-consuming. And I'm too impatient to take the long way down, so I'm just gonna jump down like that. There's the star! Yeah! And I think I have plenty of time to do another one, so... Back in the dangerous metal I go. This is Metalhead Mario Can Move. Um, I think... This is referring to the one... Back at Dory's Cavern, you know, the, the underground lake. You know, I'm, I'm gonna go this way this time just because I'm oh, feeling rebellious, <laughs> feeling risky. Oh, jeez, no, no, <laughs> oh, that worked. Might even be a little bit faster than going around the other side. Uh, okay, now over here, take the elevator down again. I'm way too impatient for this. <laughs> oh shoot. Well, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna be recovering my health anyway. Oh wait, 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 I forgot something. This this is the main thing that I need here. This is the whole idea of the level. Grab the metal cap up here, make sure that you've already unlocked the metal cap, of course. And just just follow this path underwater. Like you see this this brown path that leads all the way through. See how it's discolored from the rest? Just keep following it, keep following it. And eventually you'll have to jump up. And here's a switch that you would not be able to press if you were normal Mario, because you're not heavy enough to do that. And... Yeah, that's the closed portion um, that I mentioned earlier in this part. So, let's go in. I think it's a long jump segment, so you better have the hang of your long jumps. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, jeez. That was close. I'm trying to judge the distance of my long jumps. Saw oh, that worked out. Not bad. But I came up a little bit short on the first jump, but it worked. Hmm. Um, let's do another star. Just one more to fill fill out the part. This one is navigating the toxic maze. Oh, I'm actually unsure. There's two. There's two paths that you can take through the toxic maze to get a star. And I hope I picked the right one. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll be doing stars out of order. So anyway, the toxic maze is over here. Take this path now. And there's also some coins in here if you're itching to do the 100 coin challenge soon. Uh, here's the maze of the uh, 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 hazy maze cave. Yeah, this is the actual hazy maze cave, the hazy par portion of it. It's, it's the gimmick of the level underground. Hidden inside the green block is the amazing metal cap. Where are you want to get I think they already... No, that's not a problem, actually, because it, it helped in that other area. I think they already showed that. I mean, they already mentioned that before somewhere else. I could be wrong, though. 
Uh, danger ahead. Beware of the strange cloud. Don't inhale. If you feel faint, run for higher grounds and fresh air. Circle, shelter, arrow, entrance and exit. So, yeah, if you would like, you can memorize that, but it's it's not a very complicated area. So this is the Hazy Maze Cave, and it's much more da much more dangerous in the DS version because it, it hurts you every time you jump in it, so you can't, like, cheese it a little bit. Uh, when your head is above the, um, the gas, you don't have to worry about it, like, places such as this. Anyway, what I'm looking for is something. By the way, there's Monty Moles down here, obviously. They throw rocks at you. They're not very good at throwing rocks, though. <laughs> um, isn't this the exit? I think this is the exit. Uh, it could be the exit. Oh, sh yeah, it is the exit. Yeah, this takes you back out through here. Well, at least I showed that. Not on purpose, though. <laughs> so, back in the hazy maze cave I go. And... Whoop. Oh, my face. Alright, I'm gonna go this way this time. Gotta avoid... Oh, uh, let's see here. There is a thing up there, I know, but that's for a later time, I think. No, no, you don't. Oh, no, you don't. I'm gonna save that blue coin block in case I lose some health. I'm just kind of... I don't want to say lost, but I'm, uh, uh, I always forget where to go. Like, was is this the place I'm supposed to go? I don't remember if this is, because there's two things that I have to do here. Um, this could be it, or maybe I'm doing another star. It wouldn't hurt to, uh, do stars in the wrong order, because I'll still get them all eventually, but it's still a thing of, um, that I would, camera. Camera. Oh, there we go. Uh, yeah, this is... Oh, the, I guess this wasn't the place that was locked off that I thought of before, so I guess this was the path that took me to it. So let's see if this is the correct star. In any case, I got a star. <laughs> I think that was correct. Yep, navigating the toxic maze. Uh, if you get stars out of order, you'll be able to actually see it on this screen. Uh, like you'll see, I'll, I'll, I'll be skipped ahead on a star, but no, I got the correct star. And with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part.